Hello YouTube, this is Random G, and I know it's been a long time since I last made a video, uh, and the problem that I've had is actual formats with the video and things like that. Um, granted, I could have solved this problem a lot quicker than I have, uh, but now I've got the problem solved, and I'm pretty certain I'm not the only one that had this problem, so I'm going to try to run through it with you guys uh, and see if we can get this thing solved. The problem that I was having was the format of my videos wouldn't work with my video editing program. Now I'm cheap and I don't download things illegally so I use Windows Movie Maker and honestly that program does everything that I need it to do. Um, granted it's not going to be as good as some of the other ridiculous videos on YouTube but using Windows Movie Maker you cannot use a .mov, a .movie file and that's what my camera records in. In fact, the video that I'm recording right now, I'm going to be converting. And um, go to uh, this website. Let me uh, pull it up here. Format Factory. And it's F-O-R-M-A-T-O-Z dot com. Go ahead and type that in. Once you get here, click download. Go to either main site or local site. and just go ahead and continue downloading this. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna continue the download here. Um, and once you download that, you're gonna get a desktop item that looks like this, and a program that looks like this. Now, over here are your different types of media, your video, audio, picture, and even uh, programs, and for this particular instance, once you have things open, you're going to want to go to Open Video. And what works with Movie Maker is the WMV file. And that would be this. So I click All to WMV. And you'll get this pop up here. And what you do is you add the file from there. And I've got a series of .mov files here. And uh, I'll open one just to show you. Once you've added all the files you want to do, and the good thing about this program is you can do more than one file at a time. Got a little 15 second video here in .mov file. I'm going to click OK, and it puts it in this little ready screen here. Um, and once you're ready, go ahead and click start. And it's rather quick, as you can see here. It's, uh, it's going to be done in about one second. There we go, got a little beep. And I can close the program there, and it already throws it on my desktop. Now, the reason it went to my desktop was because I had set it, set my output folder to be the desktop. Go to options, go to your output folder, click change, and select the folder that you want. I click my desktop because usually when I change these things, I use them and then I delete them. So I've got my videos here, and in fact, I'm going to delete these. And once you do that, go ahead and open Windows Movie Maker or whichever uh, preferred editing video software you've got and go ahead and throw your videos in there. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching and I'll have more videos coming up soon, especially since I figured out how to do this.